Praise God, my brothers and sisters. Good morning, wherever you are. It's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful day that the Lord has given unto us. I thank God for all of you today. As we jump into power to become today, we're talking about more like him. More like him. And this is just to draw us to the place of the desire, you know. Whenever you put your mind onto something and you believe more about it, you're always drawn to it. I've always said that, you know, whatever we desire most, we're always drawn towards it. You know, whenever we are putting our minds, Paul says, put your minds on things that are good, things that are virtuous, you know, things that are honest, things, things, things that are true. Because wherever our minds go, we always go. You're always drawn by what we look at and what we focus on. It now wants us to be drawn to be like Jesus, to be drawn to desire to be more like him. That the Father, through his power, may transform us and give us the ability, the strength, the grace, the wisdom, the power, the knowledge, and the favor that Christ possesses. And with the mind that I don't want to be more like myself. I don't want to be more like Father, like Son. You know, I want to be more like Jesus. I don't want to be more like where I come from. I want to be more like him. This is an abandonment of, the, of, 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 of your own limitation as a human being and, uh, you know, and, embracing the future, and embracing who God wants you to be. If I can do for you from 2 um, Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, it says this, So, all of us who have had the veil removed can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. And the Lord, who is the Spirit, makes us more and more like Him as we are changed into His glorious image. My dear friends, it says that the veil has been taken off. This veil that has been taken off um, 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 is figuratively but also connected um, to the temple that was there in Jerusalem all those years. You know, It is that veil that comes out, that thing that was blocking me and the Father, that thing which was standing as an obstacle or a hindrance between me and God. You know, in the old covenant, they had no access to who God is. They had no access to the face of God. There was no ability to be transformed because the Holy Ghost could not dwell in them. They did not have the unlimited resource of the Holy Spirit working in their life on a daily basis. But you and I have. So that veil has been removed by the blood of Jesus. It means you have access, I have access into this wonderful fellowship and relationship with, uh, with, with our God. But in truth, more like him is my destiny, that I can become more like he is. And being more like he is means that I'm getting, um, I'm, 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 I'm allowing the Father to change my mind. If I had a defeated mind, he's changing me. If I'm unwell, he's healing me. You know, if I'm poor, he's lifting me, he's promoting me, he's providing for me. It means that the limitations of my humanity become something of the past. And the reality of the divinity of Christ that lives within me becomes my reality. That's why I like quoting First John 4, 17, that as he is, why are we on this earth? You know, because I want to be renewed every day and to be drawn towards who he is. So today we are saying it's more like him. Not more like my problems, not more like my disease, not more like my limitations, not more like my family name, not more like my heritage. It is more like him. I want to be not to be known for who I am. I want to be known for who he is in my life. And that is important for all of us, my dear friends, to tap into. So today I want us to press in and tell God today I want just to be more like you. I want to hold and behold who you are. I truly want to be more like you. And that should be our conviction and our prayer this wonderful day. My dear friends, let us pray. Father, thank you for the gift of life and the gift of the Holy Spirit. May you rest in our hearts today. May you dwell in our spirits. May your power, Lord, renew us, fill us, transform us, and mold us. We want to be made whole. We want to be made more like Jesus. We want to abandon who we are for who you are. We want to let go of where we have come from, Lord, and step into where you want us to become, O oh Lord. So, Father, in the, in the name of Jesus, give us the grace to put down all things, to put down our humanity, our limitations, Lord, whatever illnesses we have, whatever limitations we have, difficulties, obstacles, weaknesses. We want to put them down today by your grace. And when we stretch, may we stretch forth into becoming more like you. And more like you means more wisdom. It means more favor. It means more grace. It means more power, more provision. It means more anointing. It means that, Lord, we are more like you and less than us. And that is our prayer this day. In Jesus' name we pray in thanksgiving. Amen. Do stay blessed. See you again next time, same time. Stay blessed.